First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing the truth and truth sincerity. I titled this lesson, Where Did You Get the Hopeful Elect From? Because I'm going to show, I'm going to play a video from this offshoot camp in my state of Georgia. Where did you get the title Hopeful Elect from? See, a lot of you guys, a lot of you Johnny Upstarts, all right, taking taking what the apostle and elders say try to do your own thing you're not coming in order all right not giving double honors not not being in order to what the the lord got set up as far as his ministry you you want to do your own thing so this is hebrews chapter 5 verse 12 for when for the time you ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of the most high and are and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. A lot of guys want to come up and do their own thing, and they're too prideful to accept that they need to be taught again. They need to be structured. You know, this whole week of uh, you know Friday came in. This whole uh, uh, Gabar Dama situation came, and then you had the elder. Ariala from Dallas do a lesson on protocols for affiliate camps and you still got guys out here that's doing their own thing you know the elder brother from my camp Abba you know GMS turned back to the Lord he did a beautiful lesson about you know you guys are just out of order man a lot of you Israelites are just out of order like he said in this video he, he's waiting on the first Mo camp he's, work, he's waiting on you women to have your all woman camp it's just a lot of out of order um, details within you guys that want to do your own thing. You need to be taught again. You need to learn order. A lot of you guys just watch these videos. All of a sudden, I'm an elder now. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't check in. A lot of you guys, you want to do your own thing. You don't want to check in to the regional camps. You don't want to check in to camps that's in your area. Apostle Hardy did less than years ago. For you men that live two, three hours away, hey man, come to the camp at least once a month. So you guys need to be taught again. Now you guys, it's not about knowing all these precepts and cutting people. All right? Hebrews 5 and 13, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. A lot of you guys, you just came up six months ago, two years ago. You don't know anything, man. And I'm humbly saying that. A lot of you guys is babes. Hell, I'm still a babe. Okay? I'm still learning. But a lot of you guys, you, you know, you call yourself elders. You call yourself teachers, leaders, and prophets. And you need to sit your ass down. And I'm humbly saying that. This this ain't, I'm not going to be throwing a bunch of uh, ad hominem attacks. It just is what it is. Hebrews 5 and 14. <clears throat> But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Yeah, elders who've been in this thing since 2008, 2009, 2010. They have a lot to say as far as growing in the ministry. They're a living example how us younger brothers need to be. A lot of you guys, like I said, you don't check in. You don't come to the camp. I see these comments. Yeah, brother, well, you know, I'm trying to be a part of the camp. Well, you need to come down to the camp then. A lot of you guys, you don't want to come down to the camp because you're already being exposed. <clears throat> but strong meat belongs to them that are full age, even those who by reason to use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And you know, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have spiritual discernment. And then that trickles down into the bishops of Connecticut. That trickles down to the regional camp heads. And that trickles down to camp heads, elders, who've been in this truth for a minute. And now I want to, I want to, uh, like I said, I want to title this lesson. Where did you learn the hopeful elect from? Now, brothers have been putting this in the group text. <clears throat> the hopeful elect. This is this camp in downtown Macon, Georgia. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
the hopeful elect. Where did you get that from? Where did you get the hopeful elect from? You got it from the apostle and the elders, great millstone, but you don't want to come up under the order. You don't want to even come to the regional camp here based out of Atlanta and get taught <clears throat> how to conduct yourself in this truth because this is an example of being out of order, man. I'm going to play this right quick. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. Unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, it's equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, believe Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this. This is what they don't tell you in the church, right? Watch this. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right? Holy meaning set apart, right? We really look at the word holy is not something you can clearly tell these guys need some order, but they're too proud to admit it. You got cowboy hats on and fitteds on. What does the scripture say about that? So you've been watching Great Millstone talking about the hopeful elect. <coughs> mm -hmm. You've been watching Great Millstone talking about the hopeful elect, but you've been watching Sakari because you out there with cowboy hats on, man. First Corinthians 11 and 1. Christian order. The real Christians are Israelites. This thing is about order. Okay, a lot of you guys, you just want to do your own thing and be Johnny Upstarts. And, th and these guys ain't going to get it, man. I'm, this video is not really on you guys. These guys right here. It's just an example for men that's waking up to the truth. This truth is about order, man. All right? Being in order. You can't do what you want to do. When you come up on a body of men who are experienced and can give you a lot of pointers on how to move in this faith. The scriptures always talk about seeking counsel. And you can clearly tell these guys are not seeking counsel. Now, Macon, Georgia is about, from where I'm staying at, two hours. From Atlanta, an hour and a half. These guys could have said, hey, there's a great millstone camp in Atlanta. Let's pop up. We from Macon. But, you know, these guys want to do their own thing. And they're totally out of order. Now, like I said, this is an example for men that's just waking up. And a, lot, a lot of you Israelites, you're not humble, man. You just want to do your own thing. You read a couple of precepts. You watch, you watch this camp, that camp. And all of a sudden, you're a self-made elder. Like this guy, Elder Quinoff, out of Baltimore, Fopi. He, was a, he, 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 he put that title of elder on himself. And where is he at now? 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be you followers of me, even as I am of Yahweh Shai. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, for you women out there, and the head of Hamashiach is the Most High. So it's order. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. And that's what these guys are doing. You're dishonoring your head by cowboy hats. You country bumbles, okay? You country bumbles out here with cowboy hats on and making Georgia. You dishonor of your head. I guess you didn't read that part, you Johnny Upstarts, okay? You probably watched Sakari and oh, it's cool. We're just going to have our hats out there, you know. We, you know, we, we, we the whole full leg. Where'd you get that from? First Corinthians 11 and verse 4 once again. But every man praying or prophesying, uh, you guys are out here teaching, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonor of her head. For that is even all, up, all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image and glory of the Most High, but the woman is the glory of the man. And you guys are clearly going to slap off wearing these cowboy hats and fitteds. With your fringes on your your your, um, your polo shirts, 
That's not a garment. Okay? These guys are clearly Johnny Upstarts. They're proud. They think they, they got it going on. They took they took basically they, they took that title from the hopeful elect from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And then they wanted to do their own thing. Alright. Typical uh, once again, head covered. All right, come out of the matrix, black man. It's always about the black man. We're not here for black people, man. You guys are clearly Johnny Upstarts. You guys need to come correct. You guys aren't in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You guys are Johnny Upstarts. You guys are novices. You need to sit your ass down. Okay, and like I said, these guys, they, they're not going to receive this because they're proud. You can tell that these guys are proud. Atlanta Braves fit its own, trying to teach the, 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 the words of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. All right? Always about black people. To hell with black people, man. All right? 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 3. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. A lot of you guys take that old worldly vibration. The scriptures talk about being a new creature in Yahweh Shai. Which we're working on daily. You guys want to put this hip hop spin on the ministry. You want to put this black culture spin on the ministry. Like these guys are doing. Fitted's on. Cowboy hats. Talking about black people. You put this hip hop black culture spirit on the ministry. And persecution is coming. Guys like this man they're not built up. Alright. May the Lord have mercy on us in that time. But guys like this. They don't know what the hell is going on, man. All right? Fitted caps. Come out of that major black man. All right? They're, they're I'm, I'm going to play this right quick. I'm going to play this right quick. Shalom. 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 How's it going, man? Coming back to you guys. We're thinking about it Thursday. Um, I am your brother, Donald. This is brother Azrael. Uh, partner with me. Right. Um, I don't even believe these are real Hebrew Hebrew words, man. For your names, right? We really shy and hop on. If not, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna proceed on. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna give all honor and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We do so by way of His only begotten Son of the world, and really calls Jesus Christ, who we recognize as an instrument of salvation for the nation, right? Without further ado, let's jump into this video and let's think about No, no, hey. Didn't even give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemel was shot? You guys are out of order. Alright? No praises to you. How about Shemel was shot? No double honors. But you you say you're the hopeful elect. Where'd you get that title from? You guys are out of order, man. Now I got another precept. 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. This this isn't what you want to do. Okay? A lot of you guys, you just want to do what you want to do. Because you're... you're, you're d d hey, man, let's get this Jeremiah se uh, 17 and 9. I believe it's Jeremiah 17 and 9, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Let all things be done decently and in order. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart, your mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? A lot of you guys are just wicked, man. I'm going to just say it straight up. You want to do your own thing. You're taking you're taking bits and pieces. Obviously, you've been watching Great Millstone. Obviously, you've been watching Sakari because you guys got your head covered. You take the title from the apostles and the elders. A lot of you guys are just copycats, man. And it's true. A lot of you guys are just copycats, man. All right, so hey man, that, that's that's about it. You know, a lot of you guys are just out of order, and hey, the Lord is gonna hey, the Lord is gonna show you a thing about order, man, in these last days, man. For brothers, cause like I said, th these guys ain't gonna get it, man. You know, they're not gonna receive correction, man. These guys down here in Macon, Georgia, which is basically two hours from where I stay at, they could they could have came up to the main camp, a great mill in Atlanta. And say, hey, we want to learn from you brothers, man. You brothers been in this thing for a while. You know, the bishops of our camp been in this thing 2008, 2009. But you got a lot of Johnny upstarts, a lot of assholes, 
want to do their own thing. And I'm going to just say it, a lot of assholes that want to do their own thing and don't come up under the order, don't come up under the rank and want to be taught the right way. Coming out here with your head covered, all right, talking about the black man. We're not out here for black people, man. All right, so with that, hey, Lord willing, this is edifying to brothers that's waking up to this truth, man. This is not the way to go. These guys and you guys that want to do your own thing. And this is from Hood Guru Worldwide. Some some page, you know, when you look at this page, it's a bunch of, um, you know, I'm going to just I'm gonna click it right quick, man. Hood Guru Worldwide. You got a bunch of uh, guys, a bunch of jakes with different beliefs. All right. You know, these, these podcast jakes, all this worldly stuff. A lot of you Israelites are just worldly, man. All right. The scriptures say, be no part of this world. You you got a street teaching ministry with your head covered. And that that appeals to the ninjas. Look, look at the black woman, man. Red hair and everything. Hood TV. You know, this ministry is not for hood ninjas, man. All right. You got to be fully converted in this thing. You got to let go of the old man. And that's why they probably put this video up. Uh, 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 rap videos. Okay. This is totally out of order, man. Scripture say be no part of this world. All right. So with that, I want to say shalom.